Hey guys, it's Neil from the Schoolbusters, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get gold on the circuit experience for Dragon Trail. Uh, so it's the seaside layout. Uh, the track it's got three sectors, um, and obviously the flying lap at the end. Um, so my setup that I used, um, I changed the traction control on different sectors. Uh, but on, like for this one, for example, I put it on five. Um, and I set the brake balance to minus three, so the brakes have more at the front, and I'll talk you through uh, them ones. Um, but yeah, so that's me set up. I changed uh, the traction control, um, as you'll see through the video, uh, for different sectors. So like for this one, for example, I had it on five. On another, I think he had it on three, and another one I had it on one. So um, I was just trying different things, and obviously. The number where it landed is obviously where it worked the best for me at that time. Uh, so like I say, the brake balance is at minus three. Um, again, just adjust it to however you think. It just makes the brakes more sharper to the front of the car. Um, so here's the slow-mo of this. So straight away from the start, um, this bend, um, you can take it flat out. Um, you can give a slight lift it depends on the car but yeah flat out through there um, and what you're waiting for is the curb which is now and now you're braking heavy into the corner start moving towards let it roll give uh, the throttle a touch slightly and then before going on to the throttle fully and um, wait for the car to kind of like level out and go straight uh, so it's like just a slight touch at first and then back on. So it's flat out all the way through here. Um, you're waiting for a, this point here, lift off the accelerator, do not brake, let it roll into it. Um, I hug this kerb, brake into it. Um, try and come as tight as you can through there. I missed the apex there, but doesn't matter. We've still got gold. Um, it just makes sure you, you get a better exit than what I did. Um, but yeah, it's still a gold. Um, so that's that one. We've got gold. One down. Sector two to go. Um, so this track in general. So you can see there I've done this sector in um, traction control on three. So as I was saying, I've I fiddled around with the, the settings um, and found the best setting that I could for me at that time. So if you want to try and copy me, that's great. And if it helps perfect that's what this video is all about uh, so yeah the track um, it is quite tricky um, I'd say the first and second are not too bad um, I would say the last part which is just coming up in a minute uh, where you get like the chicanes going super tight they're the tricky parts and which can, can ruin the whole lap let's say so We'll talk you through them in a minute. So there's sector two again on the slow-mo to help you through this part. So straight away, you want to come to the inside of the track here. So you're taking the race in line. Uh, if you see that ye little yellow mark, just give it a little dab on the brake now. Let it roll back on the accelerator straight away. And then what we're doing is we're moving inside. Flat out. If you feel like you need to lift, do so. And then you want to come on the inside. I was a little bit too uh, tight, so I didn't get the ultimate racing line, but I still managed to keep it. Um, you just want it flowing nice and easy through there. So keep to the left here now. You're looking for your braking point, which I say is here now. Break. So you're looking for that from the beginning of that curb. Break heavy into this corner. You're dropping right down to second gear. Just under 60 miles an hour, 55. Let the car roll in and then go for the accelerator. Do not snatch it too soon because the back end will step out and you'll lose a lot of time. Um, so that's that one down. On to the tricky one, which is sector three. So like I say, I changed, again, the, the um, traction control. The brake balance was always consistently on minus three. So the, again, the contra traction control is back on to five. So what you're doing is you're going flat out through that part, lift off now, 
and then back on the gas try not to brake that is the the key up the inside here um, and it's trying not to lose too much time through this bend so you're braking now into the corner off the brake let it roll back on the gas try not to let the back end step out just keeping it under control and obviously then follow the racing line through to the start finish and hopefully that will get you gold so here's the slow-mo so you can see a bit more detail um, your braking points exactly where to lift and what speeds to help you because this is the tricky part so this bit is flat out so like I say you don't really want to brake through any of this part so you lift off the gas now or if you feel like you need to have a little slight touch of the brake do so I was just like super close to that corner and I managed to get the optimal exit with the speed keeping up with the ghost um, and it was pretty tight so like I say now we're looking out for the curb on the left hand side which is now 100 meter mark go on the brakes stop now halfway around let it roll and then now go for the accelerator halfway around straighten the car up as soon as you can coming out of that corner otherwise the back end of that car will step out um, it is a bit of a tricky car to handle um, that's why I was altering the traction control I think it struggles um, now I know that it's been reported that this track has uh, since the update has had a bug um, I've not seen it because I've obviously done it so I don't know whether it's there or not um, where you go through the chicanes is supposed to be an invisible wall so if you see that let us know in the comments section and uh, we'll see if it gets uh, resolved hopefully it will do uh, but like I say I've not experienced it at all so next up is the flying lap and this took me quite a few uh, attempts like I say of the whole lap the hardest part for me which was hard to nail on a perfect lap was obviously like I said the chicanes at the end um, trying to get them um, nailed on every time was um, quite difficult um but yeah just try and use my slow-mo as a guide so again like i said the uh, traction uh, control for the flying lap i put on one i found it that was the better uh setting for this one um i think the key here for this lap is trying to keep up with the demonstration ghost make sure you have that on as well as your own ghost so you try and keep up with the demonstration and always trying to beat your own ghost at the same time uh, but like I say if you keep up with the demonstration um, as much as you can towards uh, or when you get up to the chicanes because uh, it pulls away so much after them chicanes and it's that's where you lose so much time so like I say if you keep up to him all that way round um, you'll have a good chance of getting gold um, like I say for the slow mos I'll talk you through the lap um, so like I say you just got to keep up to him as much as you can so you can see I'm not far off so this is the part where he just disappears and he has so much traction um, so like I said to you you've got to just go flat out and then lift off the gas try not to break be brave and just go flat out through it um, but as you can see he's got so much traction and speed coming out of that exit he just disappears um, I don't know how they do it to be honest um, it, they just I, I kept struggling with the car through it to be honest I, I kept losing too much speed um, but I managed to get gold um, I probably skin of my teeth I think it was yeah look at that That's absolute skin of my teeth not gonna lie but I'm gonna take it I am gonna take it so yeah one thousandth of a second um, for gold um, so like I say I, I really struggled it was a bit of a ball ache for me this one so like I say traction control on one minus three for the brakes uh, so like I say the first corner you want to do flat out so what you do I do straight away is keep to the left as much as you can um, it is tempting to lift and even brake don't do so 
move in straight away once you see the, the start of the corner hug the inside looking for the curb now break off the gas let it roll in don't touch it yet accelerate just a little touch now not too heavy then let the car straighten up then go flat out uh, so you're trying to get as much of that exit clean as possible with lots of speed so what we're going to do for the next corner we're just going to lift off let the car roll which is now let it roll hook the inside and then we're aiming to take as much as we can of this corner so we're breaking early cut the inside hook that apex as much as you can uh, pinching a bit on this side and then we hook we as I can say, as I said to you before, is we're, we're staying with this demonstration all the way through here now. So you clip in that apex, keep to the right, lift off the gas brake once, let the car roll back on the accelerator straight away, and then you just want to keep the car out, hug the inside here so it's nice, flat, fast flowing through this section, move the car out a little bit, and then pull in. If you can, clip a bit of that apex. Try not to go too far over because it'll slow you right down that bit. Uh, so you just keep him with a racing line. Now, as we're approaching this one, this is a tricky one. Keep to the left. You're looking for the curb, which is now you're, you're braking. Dropping that speed all the way down, off the brake. And then let the car roll into the corner. And then back on. Try and keep the car nice and straight as much as you can and you'll keep up with the demonstration car come to the left and like I say this is the very tricky part it's flat out through this corner take all of what you can of that apex clip a bit of this off the accelerator let it roll into there and then snatch it straight away straight away snatch that accelerator as much as you can and then you'll take a lot of speed coming through them chicanes um, and then it's just this final corner and you don't want to fail it now so I'm, I'm just checking my ghost to see how far away I was from it so we're looking for the curb now brake into the corner off the brake let it roll round and then back on the accelerator straighten the car up as much as you can so you're getting all that traction you're not stepping the back end out and then it's just fo uh, following the uh, racing line over to the start finish and hopefully it will help you achieve gold so i hope this video helps if it did don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you next time